example, uh, upfront by identifying targets for each KPI. Um, usually, as well, organization leaders play a, a key role in defining this uh, parameters uh, with the help of marketing and finance team as well. Um, and finally, is to identify a segment of people behavior, their outcomes, uh, what you what they will analyze to understand uh, why you have succeeded or failed in what you're trying to do for your brand. Um, so a lot of people say that this might be very hard more than we think, uh, but usually if you follow the steps uh, and you understand it, maybe the first time it will be difficult, but the next time uh, it will be much easier to uh, do it in details. So usually we're gonna, uh, the things we're gonna focus on is acquisition, behavior and outcomes. Um, so in acquisition, how are you anticipating your, uh, anticipating acquiring your traffic? Is it from a website uh, or uh, from a YouTube video? What else are, for, an, for example, what else are you writing for your blog? Whatever you need to define, uh, you generate traffic from newsletter, for example, whatsoever. Um, and uh, did you cover all type of components? So when you're thinking about something, you need to consider what is the earned uh, media, owned media and paid media as well. These are all different channels consider the traffic coming from, how you're gonna acquisition, acquisition your customers or traffic. Um, how would you par uh, prioritize your, each one of them? So you need always to focus on the first one and then the second and the third and keep improving. Don't overwhelm yourself with too many channels. Uh, where are you sim uh, spending most of your value and efforts uh, uh, from these ex uh, acquisitions? Because uh, a lot of these things require a lot of efforts from your team or from your pocket uh, and that you need to adjust it accordingly based on what generate more conversion to you. The, uh, the second point is behavior and what is the behavior you are expecting when, uh, when people do when they arrive to your website or your channels or whatever you're bringing in. And what, the, what page in your website, for example, or your channels you want them to see first and what video you want them to see first as well. Uh, should they visit repeatedly or only one time? Are there certain actions you are expecting them to take when they visit? For example, register to your uh, newsletter, submit a call or uh, submit um, a contact form, give a call and so on. What is unique about your effort that ties to your op optimal experience for customers, for example, what is different between you and your competitor brand? This is what you need to make sure your landing page or the page you're trying to uh, acquire your customers uh, uh, in. And um, in outcomes, what outcomes significantly value delivered to your business bottom line? So what are you trying to do? Is it a download? Is it a phone call to your call center, for example? Is it a qualified online um, lead? Is it a sign up for email promotion? People buying your product or services, for example? Um, is it completing a certain task? Uh, or it's like increasing your brand awareness or perception of your brand? So these things you need to consider and look at when you're building uh, uh, your strategy. Um, now let's identify the business objective. So uh, I'm not sure if you've heard of the terms dump, which is uh, doable, understandable, manageable, and beneficial. Usually if you are too deep in what you're doing, you will never get there. Um, and uh, as well, if you're too vague, nothing will get done by you. Uh, even if you're too lame and your content and so on, they will inspire no one. So always try to get um, real to the world, be, being real, uh, have things that executable, easy for them, and those that deliver value to your company or your brand in the short term and the long term as well. Um, this is all aspect you need to think of when you're doing your uh, business objectives. So now, so now you try to figure out how, how is your objective uh, going on. So if you can draw in the piece of paper such a diagram and we'll keep doing uh, planning this. So if we then define the business objective for this uh, example, 
we have we have over here like creating awareness, creating leads, in in increasing our customer loyalty, for example. Now the second step or the third step is identifying the goal for each objective. So um, like um, it's more about data now. Uh, and we need to drill down to identify the website or campaign goals we are doing. Uh, require uh, sometimes of a little bit of critical thinking. Uh, you need to, um, uh, what you call it, um, um, uh, 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 do it with your own team, with, with management, marketeers, analysts you have within your team, uh, with people with the leadership floor, in order to get down to the exact objective you want to do. It. So, um, so the objective you need to focus on is how to leverage and accomplish something that will uh, uh, help your bottom line in the end. And usually if we're gonna break it down, so for example, when you cre create uh, awareness, you need sort of in enforcing offline and online advertising, um, capturing leads, for example, providing home buyer uh, information. So you can do the same thing on your own brand or your uh, uh, company. The fourth step is identifying the KPI, the key indicator, uh, uh, performance indicator. Um, usually what uh, the, the KPI you need to focus on, the things that whenever you keep improving, it will immediately help you um, uh, add value to your company, to your performance, to increase, for example, sales or whatever the number. Uh, so if the number uh, is increasing the KPI when you, it's increasing or decreasing based on the KPI you're setting, if it's changing and it's not affecting your company, there is an issue in the KPI, you need to change it. And usually, usually it's always good to have one up to three KPIs for everything you're doing. Uh, but always start one at a time, not to, uh, to be overwhelmed with uh, information to keep following up on. And the more you automate this, the more your life will be easier. Um, uh, now over here, for example, KPIs in the first case, for example, website traffic, uh, in, in, in creating lead, for example, for example, paid uh, social conversion, number of downloads, Google ads conversion, and for example, increasing uh, reorder, increasing retention, increasing order value, and so on. You can apply the same thing, finding uh, the KPIs on everything you're trying to do in your brand and company. The fifth step is um, targets come from usually um, how you how are how, how are you um, how is your target growing? Uh, how far are you from it? Is it you're aiming to the right target or no? Usually. Uh, keeping historical data from what you have been doing in the previous period help you to increase your performance. How did you last? How did you do last time? How even your colleagues did, or even um, uh, like different industry or businesses in the same industry did as well. Uh, and you can measure the efforts from other people as well. For example, if you come, if one, if my one hour long boring video can get 30,000 views, for example, can you, as you can see in TikTok, uh, should my two minutes uh, poppy video uh, or whatever video you're gonna do generate 1.2 million views. So this is the relevance based on the data you're getting and traffic and sometimes um, influencers. Um, once you add your target to your model, uh, it will look something similar to this. So now we, we have targets, so you define it with numbers. Uh, you need 50K visitor per month, for example. You need um, uh, 1,000 leads, uh, 10,000, whatever. You define the numbers you need to uh, achieve. Um, and usually when you define these numbers, it should make sense. Uh, you don't need to make it too high or too low. Uh, try it, or you can take the average of your previous experience and keep optimizing and improving this by if, if you want every two weeks or every two months, it depends on how you do, you're doing the campaign and so on. <clears throat> uh, the, po uh, the sixth point is identifying valuable segment of our analysis. Uh, what is the most important segment is to focus on each goal specifically, identifying the source of traffic, for example. Uh, type of people desirable 
their attribute, their behavior, um, their expected business outcome that they are care about the most, uh, they care about the most, for example, um, what customer might want to accomplish in your website. So they have an expectation and this is what you need to deliver for their expectation. Even, even it's not related as well to a uh, website, it's even a, a, it can be related to your phone call, your social media channels and so on. And when you do that, this is what you're gonna uh, add a new segment, which is converted uh, visits based on the uh, user persona. Um, uh, yes, two, two days ago, we spoke about the persona and target segment uh, and so on. Um, usually having a system to add these data like a CRM will make your life much easier. Now let's jump. Um, when you simplify all these data in a way, uh, it should give you something similar like this. So you have like a brand awareness goal, conversion, customer activation, and then you have a set of KPIs, metrics you're interested in, uh, like um, impressions or ad offline online, bounce rates, um, average order value, net promoter score, and you name it, whatever things that help you to geography some people do business for example in different geography or even different cities uh, and so on now uh, let's jump to some techniques and the on this strategy so um, it is always important to um, not to isolate the performance of the right metrics of measuring what you're uh, doing uh, having the right tools uh, marketing uh, teams need to focus on maximizing results within every single channels, um, helping you to uh, focus and not overwhelming yourself and increasing the the, uh, the value on one channel at a time. Uh, understand uh, how their uh, unlimited driving uh, and how the, the traffic is being driven to your uh, channels. Um, uh, you have to be more efficient uh, when it comes to investing your resources for your maximum impact uh, as well. Uh, one another point you need to consider is identifying your business goal that marketing efforts will support. So you should not do goals that no one is uh, favor of or even believe in. Uh, that will create uh, unwanted results. Um, uh, be, be specific, always have numbers very clear, like I need 500, 1,000, 10,000 subscriber, visitor, and so on. Uh, make uh, make humanized um, communication with customers. Uh, try to simplify your service, allow marketers to work backward, and designate the channels that best support their brands. Uh, usually in, in, in such area, you need to always Whatever you do, you're gonna measure everything and try to focus on the most one that uh, generate conversion to you and keep uh, moving and increasing or distributing your budget and efforts. The um, uh, one another point is now um, yeah, when you establish your business goals to measure, uh, marketers can create always alignment across the organization. So every one of, you, of your team, if they're aligned, you will create much more value to your business in the short term as well in the long term. Um, um, decision, the speed of decision is based on today's data. So the more data you have, the more tools you're gonna, we're gonna come to a couple of tools you're gonna, we can use later in the slide. So planning, measuring your strategy is very important um, and always take uh, decision very fast. Uh, and this is will uh, make, uh, this is will make the impact much uh, quicker and easier for you. Um, you need to understand your social sentiments. For example, what people are saying, is it negative, is it positive? There's a lot of listening tools out there. You can use any of them that will help you. It's, a, it's even very good in Arabic nowadays. Um, combining, your social, uh, combining your social media data with other marketing data, um, how you connect your all data together from the, your social media, your website, your newsletter, 
your offline, your business team, your uh, offline data coming from your um, your team, connecting all these data together and making sense out of this, uh, and try to. Uh, you're doing all, all of this is to increase your customer expectation, narrow, uh, narrow this uh, gap of expectation between you and your customers. Now, um, let's, um, um, if you take the experiment approach, you need, for example, ex uh, incremental approach um, to help your team be effective in the near um, uh, terms while, for example, enhancing their capability in the long term. So this is, taking it step by step, applying marketing experiments that will help your team understand how small changes can impact the performance. So they, when they see the results and the effect, the, the, the game will be much more interesting to continue in. Um, uh, creating a control campaign, for example, along the side, uh, the standard campaign to test how minor uh, variation is happening. And that's, instead of spending your entire uh, budget from day one, no, try to control it in certain stages and know which one is converting which and, uh, and uh, uh, money or distribute it accordingly. Uh, and always look for the impression, engagement, other indicator that is related to your business. Um, Try to invest time in analyzing data to understand customer uh, and optimize campaign to drive growth. Uh, and this is the key essential. Use, uh, use, try to use single system of uh, record for all your marketing data, for example, CRM or dashboard. Uh, there's a lot of analytic dashboard. We'll come to uh, mention a couple of them in a while. Uh, collaborating on shared goals between your different departments. So it is easier for all of them to achieve it together. Um, uh, try to try to convey uh, relevant, trustworthy uh, messages to your customers. So now, now the element, the third element is to ensure aligning everything with the measured data. Um, now these five um, uh, points, which is for example, um, business objective is it is it is uh, this is where you will identify the goal for the business as a whole, and often the most important step in creating alignment across the, your entire or your stakeholders. For example, increasing sales. Uh, in goals, um, it's very specific tactics that you will leverage to accomplish uh, for the business objective. Uh, for example, you can uh, increase your customer spend per order uh, in your e-commerce. Uh, third point is KPIs. These metrics uh, that will help you to understand how are you perform performing against your goals. And uh, for example, average order value uh, in the e-commerce industry. Uh, your success target to be uh, predetermined numerical, you, you have defined it before, um, that will help you to indicate the success or failure of what you're doing. Uh, the segmentation, uh, these are always, the segmentation tries to in dividing and analyzing the metrics you have collected earlier by identifying the source of the traffic type of people, their behavior, uh, most important uh, to your own goal. What is most important to your own goal? Now we'll go to different type of data visualization that will help you to look into a clear and you consider all these types and this you can find a lot of these in the analytic platform. For example, website traffic, lead to ratio, uh, customer acquisition, uh, cost uh, funneling, if you do sales funnel or marketing funnel, this is all will help you to see, visualize data because sometimes the data are too much uh, to look at. So simplifying it in these type of charts will make it easier for you to read. Uh, here we have, for example, return of investment. You can see the return of investment of every activity, every product you do, every service you do, uh, even every milestone incremental sales, web traffic source, uh, sources. Uh, we have purchase funnel, 
uh, total visit, for example, compared to the previous period or to your target, uh, customer uh, attrition, uh, which is like measuring the rate of which your company loses customer over time. Uh, um, for example, here are percentages, average time they spent on every page in your website, uh, even in your, if you know, there's even tools to measure how people, um, how long they take in reading your emails, for example. Um, and looking into this, you know, for example, the social media channels like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, or any of them, Usually, the more your customers spend on your post, uh, the more willing that they will show your post to other uh, customers in your channel. Because every post you uh, every post you share in your social media, usually it only appears to five to ten percent of your uh, followers, for example. So the more they spend in it, this percentage increase because the channel thinks that this is a very interesting topic or have more of uh, engagement or retention. So it, they, uh, they uh, push it more. We have like share by categories, um, uh, um, newly generating and so on, measure the customers that are using your product on a given time period. Um, uh, in action rate, cost per lead, uh, goal completion rate. So these are different type of graphs that will help you to use when you're creating your data and collecting it. Uh, referral traffic, web traffic uh, concentration, bounce rate, uh, and so on. Now, um, in the last stage, we're gonna talk about testing and optimization. Um, uh, one of the important thing is you always have to be in control uh, and doing more variation. So when you are doing a campaign, when you're testing your persona that you have created, when whatever you're doing in these data you have built, uh, try to do uh, this sort of A-B testing. Uh, put it on test, uh, create version of it, see what one is con uh, generating more conversion, continue that, leave the other one and keep doing that to improve your own. Uh, for example, here, for example, the thing, the bounce rate, um, the bounce rate is um, people coming to your website and leaving immediately, um, and how to reduce this bounce rate. Uh, now we're gonna jump into capturing uh, some of the tools. Uh, so uh, I'm sure every one of you is uh, familiar with uh, Google Analytics. Uh, and how you're gonna use it. And a lot of companies, not, is, they're not using the um, Google Analytics in the right manner because the usual, usually Google Analytics helps you to define goals for every page you have. Um, and they give you more data that enable you to capture um, uh, information to help you to optimize. For example, here's, for example, um, Mom's World um, reach 300% return on ad spend just because they leverage the data available in, in Google Analytics. And you can create your, uh, your sales funnel and marketing funnel as well in, the, in this platform and so on. There are different platforms, something like Sharpbeat. Uh, it, it helps you with more data as well. You can consider using it. Um, uh, it, um, it have a lot of uh, intelligent solution or content intelligent solution. Um, uh, for your desktop, you can use it even for mobile phone. Uh, it measures stuff like mobile users, traffic uh, sources, top pages, Twitter links, uh, mentions, uh, your server load as well, and many more. And this is all will give you a good insight. Now, this is another platform called Mention. Uh, it's a comprehensive media monitoring tool. Sorry. Okay, uh, a comprehensive media monitoring tool that will let you or will tell you usually when and where and how your brand is mentioned online. Uh, it will also show you the positive and negative mentions in your uh, brand. And, and there is, by the way, there is too many tools. For example, listening to a lot of listening tools do the same thing and it, they have the benefit of leveraging Arabic. Uh, I think we have um, a lot of in the Middle East. 
uh, sender. It's um, uh, if you need to quickly keep in touch with your customers and grow your business, sender is a great solution to build successful email campaign and reach the best marketing results. Uh, and there is many tools like uh, uh, Mailchimp and other that give you the same techniques and ability to do the same. Um, uh, trying to wrap up, um, use your data efficiency to serve and maximize your performance. And this is all about maximizing and performance measures, maximize gathering your data, do analysis, uh, validate your information, uh, generate reports from your data, uh, generate finding, uh, uh, room for improvement, help it and keep doing this all the time and you will find uh, yourself going month after month or week after week. Um, uh, at last, uh, summarizing, so in, in, in simple step, marketing measurement helps companies define success. Uh, usually the average spending of, um, of companies around 12% um, as an average of their budget yearly on marketing. Um, and uh, where our marketing money is spent is successfully. This is very important to use your digital marketing budget efficiently, uh, make sales activity more effective by improving your conversion rates. Uh, question, did our marketing initiative drive growth to our business or no? Uh, um, is it helping to uh, increase the number of leads for the sales team? Uh, did we achieve our objective? And all of these questions you need to ask uh, along the way. By this, uh, uh, I hope uh, I, uh, I was not so boring and you actually manage, uh, I'm open to question and uh, if you have uh, discussion or questions, I'll be happy to answer it or have more uh, uh, questions from you. And while we're waiting for people to ask the questions, uh, Ahmed, if you don't mind, we'll do a quick photo of everyone. So if you can unshare your screen. Sure. Uh, so everyone, if I could ask you to please switch on your video, fix your hair so that we can take a quick, uh, quick photo, if that's all right. Perfect, I can see some videos coming on. Thank you. Oh, nice to see you here, Dinesh. Good. So I'm nice. going to start. Uh, oh, I'll give everyone about 10 more seconds. Sorry. Oh. Brilliant. One, two, three. Perfect. Thank you so much, everyone, for that. Do you have any questions, anyone? Uh, will the slides be shared with us? Because you mentioned some great tools, and it would be nice you know, to have the list with us. Of course. Sure, we'll share it. Also, Rami says hi. OK. Excellent. Okay. So if no one has any questions, then we'll wrap up for today. Thank you everyone for your attention. Uh, if you have any questions, you can always reach out to Ahmed directly. You can reach out to me. Uh, just let us know. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.